Hello, once again, it is me from the future. Sorry to keep doing this, but I realized in doing the editing, I completely spaced on filming an intro for this video. So the long and short of it, I'm going to be doing some test cuts to try to find a revised recipe based on the end grain as the limiting factor. The first time I did this, I did edge grain, which is not actually that hard to cut through. So I was able to go a hell of a lot faster, but then hit chatter the second that same recipe was applied towards end grain. Being that that's my limiting factor, I'm going to run some test cuts there, then take that cut recipe and apply it to the new cutting or the new climbing hold rather. That new climbing hold should hopefully be the first of my production run of climbing holds. We are on our uh, 100 inches a minute, inch and a half depth, 150,000 step over, full depth of cut, inch and a half down, 26,200 RPM, or setting 4.5 on the ripples. We're going to see how this first test cuts out. I'm actually going to do it 50%, so 50 inches a minute. And then I'll slowly step up, we'll see how it goes. We're going to try and reduce the chip load by increasing RPM and decreasing feed rate a little bit. See if that helps reduce some of the chatter. I might end up having to do the inverse. We'll see how this goes. So, at 30 inches a minute. Okay, lower chip load did not work. Let's try higher chip load. See what that does. We're going to try back at 100 inches a minute. See what happens. I think that's a no-go. We need to reduce that step over and the rip-ems. We'll see what I can come up with. Hang on, I'm gonna play with it for a second. All right, we're gonna drop the feed rate 50% and drop my rip-ems down to 23,000. See what that does. Increase the feed rate. Now it's 70 inches a minute, same RPM. Nope. Drop. Does that go back? Uh, back to the drawing board. So making a slight modification. We are going to go ahead and try higher RPM. We're actually going to have that width of cut. So whereas before I was at 40% step over, I'm now dialing back to 20% step over. We shall see what happens. Pass my start touch at the end. Yeah. Just a smidge. So this pass is actually going to contact. Well, that sounded like crap. I'm trying to have the feed rate 50%. Call that a no. 50 inches a minute at 75,000 step overs didn't quite, didn't quite cut it. Let's try uh, 30 inches a minute. Both well, better and worse. So 30, let's try 120. We're just gonna see how 120 goes. All the chatter. That was crap. Try 90. I have a feeling 90 is gonna suck, but we're gonna try it. Yeah. 90 ain't getting her done. Still getting a lot of skipperoony as a result of that end green. This thing cuts completely different. In keeping with my plan of throwing everything in the kitchen sink at this thing to see what the fuck sticks, we are gonna try and do a 60% step over and further reduce my feed rate down to 30 inches a minute, which would actually mean I am maintaining my material removal rate, but hopefully this will be at a slow enough speed with a high enough ripums to try to make it to where this thing isn't chattering like all hell on that step over. We'll see how that goes. I think the first one was a shallower pass. This is the actual one. That's a no. That didn't, that didn't go. I just bit like all hell. Speaking of kitchen sink, last time it was me trying to go a serious step over and uh, slow it down. Instead, we're going to go back to what we were doing before, which is uh, light radial and just push that inch per minute up. I know my steppers are gonna start running out of speed up there, but clearly that was working before and I was still able to get successful cuts, albeit a little chatter, so maybe I just need to hover in there instead of drastically changing stuff. That's the idea at least. So we're gonna run this at 200 inches a minute and see what happens. It's probably gonna take a couple passes before I actually contact the wood. I don't feel like re-zeroing it. More kitchen sink, uh, 20% and increased it to five and a half, which is whatever RPM this is. I think we're getting close. Skimmed it, next pass should actually touch. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. That sounds great. That sounds bad. Looks like it's gonna sit in that knot. It drops down 180 inches a minute. Let's see if that makes a difference. That sounds great. 180 inches a minute. Hundred and eighty inches a minute, thirty thousand step over at uh, four point five on the rip 'em. Four point five is twenty six thousand two hundred. Seems to be my nice new little recipe. So what you've missed leading up until this point is me fighting the cam for the last oh hour trying to get the damn toolpath that I was setting up to actually post. For whatever reason it started tweaking out on me. So I have officially decided I'm gonna try and see if I can run the next uh, version of this exact same hold I just did yesterday, which I left upstairs on my bed so you can't see. We're gonna run it again today, and I'm gonna try to see if I can get this time down. In theory, we're gonna run this thing uh, at full tilt. I'm gonna try to do what I can to not hit the pause button. I want this thing to run as if it was a production hold. Let's see how it goes. Cutting at 180 inches a minute, beautifully. Hardest part, no problems. I don't want to seem too giddy about this, but dude, I'm, it's flying through it. It doesn't even give a shit. That's 180 inches a minute on a desktop router. I think the longest part is gonna actually be the tool chain. I might even be able to modify the cam so it knows the bolt is deeper so it actually does these tool paths at the top faster. That actually could probably save me a good minute. Okay, profile. <laughs> Made it through the entire roughing, didn't have to contact it, but I will say this. That's a lot of dust. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick vacuum and then a tool change and then we'll move on to the next step. Seven twenty-three added to whatever that is equals total finishing time. So clearly longer than what it's estimating up there. And the main reason the cam and this aren't coinciding is because even though I'm setting that thing to run at 200 inches a minute, that's only really gonna hit that in the pure X, Y travel positions. In other words, the start, the finish is Z limited because my Z axis doesn't actually move quite that fast. But this hold looks gorgeous. <laughs> Auto focus. This thing looked gorgeous. It is deaf. So I don't know where in there the video completely cut out, but my card got full as I was in the middle of trying to finalize. Finalize. 
You can tell it's been a long day at the at the machine and at the cam. I was trying to finalize what I was describing to you guys about this hold, which is that it is, without a shadow of doubt, the best one yet. Off the machine, this thing is virtually perfect. I'm, I'm kind of, I don't wanna say I'm at a loss for words because I'm clearly still talking, but I am beyond satisfied with this. The surface finish, let's see if I can bring this in. No, 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 look at, look at that. Look at that surface finish. Along along the edge of, of where you're gonna be contacting, it's it's just perfect. You can even see the little lip here where it's like, here's what I'm working with. Come on. Look at that. Oh, oh, it's so nice. I'm just, I'm, I am, I'm completely ec ecstatic with this thing. Ecstatic, ecstatic, overstatic. Super static, static electricity. I am stoked. This is good enough. I actually feel confident to go ahead and make my first official production batch of climbing holds, which means uh, starting tomorrow, I will be in full blown production mode, planing, sanding, cutting, drilling, mounting, and then modifying the cam so that way I can sit here and just batch out climbing hold. That is gonna be a lot of fun. The really cool part too, is that I was able to do a little bit of that testing you saw earlier, refine the roughing pass so that way I didn't have to touch at all. I think I'm also gonna modify the cam a smidge more as well, drop the bolts so that way I reduce some of those tool paths at the top. I actually think I can probably shave easily a minute, if not two minutes out of that, uh, let's say a minute out of that top roughing pass there. It quite clearly looked as though it was trying to rough that and it was avoiding the bolt too much much after the fact that now I've dropped the bolt further down. Oh, oh beautiful hold. That is it. That is it for this video. To, on uh, the next video, I'm going to be making full production mode climbing holds, and we're going to try to batch those out in kind of one fell swoop so that way I can go ahead and start climbing on my own holds. All of them, 100%. Do an entire route of just my own holds.